But Wendy, what I want you to do is to tell them that story that you told me yesterday about Ralph Bennett's Volkswagen. Oh, okay. You ain't never heard nothing until you've heard about Ralph Bennett's <laughs> Volkswagen. <laughs> I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. Uh, the, the, the beautiful part about this is that, that old Ralph Bennett is with us tonight. And he's up from home with us, and we're thrilled about that. But Ralph Bennett was the first man that I ever knew to own one of them little Volkswagen cars. And, and old Ralph was thinking about the high price of gasoline for it even got high. And, and I remember this was a long time ago, and this is when they first started sending them over here. As a matter of fact, I never had even, I never had even saw one of them. And old Ralph got me and, and old D.A. Tucker to go down to Jacksonville, Florida with him to, to get his little Volkswagen car that he is having shipped over here. Now, now, you know, they ship them little Volkswagen cars over here on the ocean. And, and that's how come we had to go down to Jacksonville, Florida to get it. Because we ain't got no ocean in Smyrna, Georgia. <laughs> but old, old DA's brother Leonard took us down to the bus station to get on the Greyhound bus and go down there after that little Volkswagen car. And, and I remember we got to the bus station real early where we could all get us a window, you know. <laughs> and, Mm -hmm. None of us had ever been anywhere, and, and, and there we was going all the way to Jacksonville, Florida. And we, we went off down there, and we got down there in Jacksonville, and I never will forget when we got out there to the place where he is supposed to pick up that little old Volkswagen car. I thought that was the ugliest thing I had ever laid my eyes on, and me and old D.A. just commenced to laughing, you know. <laughs> And, and we figured, we figured old Ralph done bought him something there. He didn't know what he, it didn't even look like we could all get in it. <laughs> and, and we got to laughing at how ugly, well, old Ralph said he had seen one before, but don't think he had. <laughs> I believe he has seen it the first time right with us. But anyway, the man come over there. Now, this is a fact what I'm telling you with my hand up. The man come over there, the man come over there and asked old Ralph, said, do you want me to show you how to drive this thing or tell you anything about it? And I, I could tell it made old Ralph about half mad. Yeah, Ralph's, Ralph's got a high school education. <laughs> he has. He, 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 he went clean through high school. Actually, I, most of the time he is clean. But... <laughs> but but it kind of insulted old Ralph, don't you see? That he, old Ralph said, I can drive anything with wheels on it. Well, we got in that little old Volkswagen car and we got the surprise of our life. There wasn't no words in it. <laughs> on every one of them little old knobs, there's a picture. Didn't none of them have no words. And, and I guess it's cause it come from over in Germany. But anyway, we sit down in there, and, and them pictures, uh, why, they, you couldn't make out what they meant. At least me and Ralph and D.A. couldn't. <laughs> but finally, old Ralph got that little old Volkswagen car in first gear, and off up that highway, we headed into Georgia. Now, whenever we left Georgia, it was freezing cold. And we is headed right back into that freezing cold, and I want you to remember that. But we headed back into Georgia, and then we got to thinking about how hungry we was. You see, we hadn't eaten since we left Atlanta. Now, the bus stopped two or three times, and there's two reasons how come we didn't get off. Number one, we was afraid of getting left. Number two, we didn't want to lose our place by the window. <laughs> There's a time or two we might not have died on that. <laughs> but, mm, mm. but, but, but I told old Ralph, I said, you're going to have to find a restaurant pretty soon. I said, I'm, I'm about to starve to death. So we pulled in this restaurant. We pulled right up to the curb of the restaurant. Now, this is a fact, what I'm telling you. We pulled right up to the curb of the restaurant and went in and got us a weenie. Well, <laughs> well, we come back out, 
We come back out and got in that little old Volkswagen car and old Ralph started trying to put that thing in reverse. <laughs> you ain't never seen nothing to beat it in your life. Ralph hunted everywhere for reverse on that thing. I hunted it, DA hunted it. They just wasn't no reverse on that little old Volkswagen car. Old, every now and then old Ralph said, I believe I got it now, back up over that curb we would go. Well, finally we had to take that little old Volkswagen out of gear and push it back. <laughs> and then head out. Well, we got on up road there and we, we, we got to thinking about the gas. I said, man, we better find a filling station. I said, it's getting awful cold. And I said, it's going to be bad to walk. We better find us a filling station in a hurry. Well, we spotted one. Old Ralph pulled off the highway down into this filling station. We pulled in there and old Ralph said, fill her up. And that old boy said, you pulled up too far. <laughs> old Ralph said, I'll be right back. <laughs> we pulled out of that filling station. There stood that fellow with his holes in his head. <laughs> Looking at us like we was a bunch of idiots. <laughs> we pulled out of that filling station, went up the road, come across and back down, pulled back in, Ralph said, now fill her up. <laughs> well, I got to where it, I got to where, boy, it is getting, it is getting awful cold. And I told old Ralph, I said, boy, you better have him check that antifreeze. <laughs> well, honey, we started hunting that radiator. <laughs> that old fella at the filling station, he never had seen one of them things either. <laughs> he went up there and lifted up that hood. He said, there ain't even no motor up here. <laughs> Well, it didn't take us long to find the motor. We still ain't found that radiator. <laughs> but anyway, we, we pulled on out of there. We headed, we headed off up that road. And the further we got up into Georgia, the colder it got. I'm here to tell you we was about to freeze to death. And, and we started hunting that heater. I'm going to tell you, me and old D.A. and Ralph, we went all over that little old Volkswagen car trying to find that heater. Wasn't no way we could find no heater. Finally, I found some kind of little old knob down there in between me and Ralph in the front seat, and I reached for it. Ralph said, hold it, hold it, hold it. I said, what's the matter? He said, don't pull that. The bottom knob will fall out of this thing. <laughs> we, we went on up that road, froze from our nose to our toes. We went on, we got nearly back to Atlanta, and here, here come the police. I said, oh, me, what, reckon what we've done. He pulled us over, and Ralph said, man, what'd I do? He said, well, he said, uh, now, whenever we left Jacksonville, Florida, we had one of them little cardboard tags on the back of that thing. It must have blowed off. <laughs> he, he pulled us over, and he said, well, he said, uh, there ain't no tag on whatever this is you're driving. And he said, you're supposed to have one. Old Ralph said, well, I'm going to tell you something, Mr. Police. He said, there also ain't no reverse. There also ain't no radiator. And there also ain't no heater. And I'm glad we won the war. <laughs> This is back with my hand up. We took that little old Volkswagen home. We pulled it up in old Ralph's driveway. And his wife, Mary Ellen, come out. And she said, oh, take me around the block. <laughs> old Ralph mumbled something about being cold. We went on in the house. Mary Ellen went out there and got in that little old Volkswagen car. She fumbled around about two minutes. Backed that thing out of that driveway. <laughs> Drove that thing around that block, 
pull back up in that driveway, come in that house, and said, how come y'all didn't have the heater on? 